So, hello there. Today we are going to be doing uh, some fondant. And I have all my materials here. So, um, let's get ready to get started. We have uh, marshmallows. That's a 12 ounce bag of marshmallows that I use. We have Tylos powder, only one fourth that you'll need a teaspoon. We have powdered sugar, 907 grams. And we have the corn uh, starch that we use later. The Crisco, we'll need to grease um, our mat with. And I grease the bowls, grease the dough hook also, so that'll make the fun and not stick once the marshmallow get incorporated. I have one ounce of water, a tablespoon of this corn syrup that we're going to use in um, our marshmallow, uh, making our fondant. This is going to be pretty white fondant. That's the powder sugar. You really don't have to sift that because Domino's normally uh, is a good brand to use where you don't have to sift. So let's move this to the side. And we're going to put the marshmallows in the grease bowl that I've already greased, the 12 ounce. We'll put that in there. And we will um, let this stand there for maybe 30 seconds or if we have to put it back in there until it melts. Once it's melted, we will take it out. So we're going to go ahead and uh, add, if I can get this top off in this corn syrup, Oh, I hate sticky stuff. It just irks me. But anyway, that's why I wipe, I wipe the ring around. I'm going to get one tablespoon of the corn syrup. One tablespoon. I'm going to put in here. So like that. Just one tablespoon. You ain't got to twirl it like me. I'm just a little extra. Just, just a little extra sometimes. But it's okay. I'm retired so I can be extra. And then we're going to get about a tablespoon. Uh, about a not half an ounce of water because I only got like one ounce, so just a little, just a little bit of water. And then we're going to uh, put this in the microwave and let that do its thing. Put this uh, top back on this corn syrup and begin with that. So get that out of my way. And then we're going to put this in the microwave for about 30 seconds from the beginning and let that uh, do its thing. So while that's doing that, I'm going to get a little thing and just start um, mixing up my, um, corn, my, mm, I finished that my corn syrup, my powdered sugar. I'm just twirling around a little bit. Like I said, you really don't have to sift the dominoes because I've made fondant many times and I've never had a problem with the Domino's brand. Now, if I get a Walmart brand, I would sift that because you have big lumps at the bottom and you really don't want lumps. So let me check this um, marshmallow up. Got to go a little bit more. Just take a little bit more. I'm going to get my twos, of which I should already have my twos. So we got my little spatula. Got, and then we'll just keep on messing with this a little bit. Now, let's see how it's doing. Oh, I got my cup. Yeah, we're going to take half of the powdered sugar and put in the pan. Just half, not all of it. We're going to put half of the powdered sugar in the bowl and then we're going to take our marshmallows and put that on top and then we'll add some more oops my marshmallow ain't ready yet so i got to stir it around a little bit so let me do that get that stirred around a little bit more put it back in there because you don't want it to over melt you want it to melt just enough so as i was saying we're going to put half of the powdered sugar in the bowl then we'll put the marshmallow in the bowl. Then we'll put more powdered sugar on top of the marshmallows. And then we'll proceed uh, to start uh, mixing it. So I'm just getting half of this in there. So getting everything situated. Now my marshmallows should be ready shortly. I'm going to put just a little bit more in that bowl. Then get myself all situated. All right, I think it's about ready. Let me stir it up. Yeah, I think that's about ready. I'll close my, my microwave shortly. <laughs> All right. 
So we just stir that up. Yeah, that's ready. We're going to go ahead on and put it here, in here. And this is, it's, it's pretty messy, of course. You know, if you ever dealt with marshmallows, you know marshmallows is a messy thing. But it's a good messy thing because the fondant that you, that you make homemade is absolutely delicious. It's only marshmallows and powdered sugar. That's all it is. The store-bought marshmallow, eh, don't taste that good. You know, they have to put additives in their marshmallow, you know, so to stay, so they have a good shelf life. So we're going to get this in the bowl, get everything all um, mixed up, mixed in. If I can get it off in this spoon. Okay, let me see if I can get a little bit more out of this bowl. I'm trying to get every little drop. That's what I'm trying to do. And if you want to color your marshmallow, after we mix this up, before you take it out of the bowl, that'll be the time to go ahead on and uh, mix it if you want to do colored marshmallows. Or you can always color your uh, fondant after, you know. You can keep your fondant three or four weeks in a tight, tight container. So you can color it now, you can color it later. So I'm just extra wiping stuff off my mix. So just a little extra, just a little extra. So... I'm gonna add up. Now we're getting ready to put the other powdered sugar on top of the marshmallow. Put that on top, like so, like that. Get that all incorporated. And I still save a little bit in the uh, in my pan because I don't know if I'm gonna use this all of it. That's in the in the pan with a bowl, silver pan bowl, whatever silver bowl. <laughs> get all that out of the way. Get it out of my way. So now we're getting ready to um get ready to put the dough hook on. And then what I'll do is get a towel to put on top so powdered sugar won't go everywhere. And I put it on the very on the lowest setting, which my lowest setting on my KitchenAid is the stir setting. Okay, yeah, we've got to put a little water. Just put a little water in there so it won't stick as much. Normally, I would have put it in there before now, but I kind of forgot. So, But it's okay. So now we're going to put the towel on top. Get a towel and just cover up your mixer. So your powdered sugar won't be all over your kitchen. Yeah, just put on the lowest speed you have for right now. And once it start to bumping, you will know that it's coming together. And then you might want to add a little bit more water, a little bit more powdered sugar, depending on if it's falling apart, you need to add a little bit more water. And if it's not coming together, you might want to add a little bit more powdered sugar. So hopefully this will come out really good. So I'm getting my glove, my hands off. I'm getting ready to take the gloves off because dealing with fondant, even though I had my gloves on, you can't you you can't do fondant with gloves. It's, it's it's pretty hard. It's pretty hard to be trying. It's like rolling dough. You know, you make biscuits, it's like rolling dough. So I don't know nobody make biscuits with their gloves on. And my hands are clean and you know, so now I'm checking it because it sounds like it's bumping a little bit. It's getting there. Yeah, it's getting there. Now I can almost turn it up a little bit. And it's going to be absolutely pretty. So, see, I'm trying to take it off. And I didn't think about letting it down. That's what happens when you stay away from the um, screen a long time. Forget what you're supposed to do. So, now it's going to come together a little bit. And I was trying to show you, but my mix was... It, was, it wasn't the mixer. It's the operator of the mixer. <laughs> Okay, we're going to get it off. Yeah, I got to put it back on there now. Okay, here we go. There it is. That's 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 it. That's what I supposed to have been doing, Jewel. Okay. Now I'm going to mix it up a little. Because there's some um, still powdered sugar in the bottom of this sticking to the side. So I need to scrape that, scrape my bowl down. And then we'll uh, proceed from there. And I'll put just a little bit of water in there. Don't put too much because you do want your uh, fondant to come together. So just do just a little bit of water and just let it go like that. Now I'm going to get my hands all washed up again so I can uh, handle my fondant. And then after I get it all out of the bowl, I'll... Um, put it in a container. You always want to put your fondant in a tight, tight container. And it can last probably up to maybe three, four weeks a month. And you can freeze fondant. You can freeze it. 
But if you use a lot of fondant, then you know you don't really have to worry about it. And I don't use a lot yet, but hopefully I'm getting to that stage because I like working with fondant. I like making uh, birthday cakes. So I really like doing a lot of different things with fondant. It's kind of excitement to me. It can be very tedious, especially when you're carving a cake. Now, that, that part can be tedious, but just making little decorations, I love it. Love it. Okay, I think it's about there, and I'm going to pull it off this dough hook. Yep. It's about there. Now I need to uh, get some Crisco and rub on my silicone mat. And you can use um, parchment paper, but I just like my silicone mat for a lot of stuff. When I do candy apples and uh, treats, I love my silicone mat, especially with candy apples because, I mean, it just sticks real quick. Okay, so now we're pulling this uh, fondant out. I'm going to take the dough hook out. Over here struggling with it. But it's like this machine is so old, but it works. Uh, Kitchen A will last forever. I need to get an updated dough hook. Okay, now we got it out. See how pretty that is? See, look at that. Look, look how pretty that is. That is, look at it. It's like a ball of dough. Like a ball of dough. And fun, look at that, see how pretty it's nice and soft, absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, there's some pretty fun, to, and it came together really, really good, really good. I always wonder, like, how do people make fun, and I'm like, you can make it? That was before I learned all of the, uh, so, okay, now we're getting ready to put a one-fourth teaspoon of Tylos powder. That's all you need, one-fourth, one-fourth for that whole thing. And it helps it holds the fondant together, makes a hole you can work with, you know. So that's what glues it together is that Tylos powder. And like at this point, you can uh, roll it all in one ball. You can separate it. If you're doing different colors, you can do whatever. But just make sure to store it in a very tight container. Wrap it up in um, some um, some wrap, some some light wrap paper, not paper wrap, but just the um, Reynolds wrap. And just, oh yeah, and you can also just roll it out. I'm rolling mine out. Saying, yeah, saran wrap, that's what I'm trying to say. Roll it, yeah, roll it up in saran wrap and store it. So I'm just rolling this out like I'm rolling some dough. It came out really, really good. So I'm taking some um, cornstarch and spread it on there. That'll keep it um, pretty good and spread it there also. And just wrap it all up. And then I'll wrap it up in some saran wrap, and it'll be ready to go. Be ready to go. Yeah, they came out really good. I am pleased with this fondant, I tell you, really pleased. Look at that. And I'm going to pinch some off because I'm going to be making, um, I'm doing a party this weekend, so I need to make some numbers, and I'll die just a little. I just need a little small piece of this fondant for this weekend. And you can make funding up ahead of time. You know, you're doing a big birthday party, just make up different colors. Go on and color your fund, you know, and just wrap it up. And when you get ready to use it, it, believe me, it stays soft. When you wrap it up with that saran wrap, it stays soft. It'll be just like you just made it. So, um, that's a good thing. Don't forget to like, share, hit that notification bell. And hope you like my channel and subscribe, subscribe. And I'll see you the next time. Thanks for watching my channel.